guys. This is the moving days. Everything is getting packed up right now. In these boxes, most of my collectibles are in, it's in here right now. Still gotta take down the DC. Alright guys, so look what just came in the mail today. So I actually ordered this uh, um, on Amazon yesterday and they shipped it out. Perfect timing too because now that the company is here, I can uh, pack this up. But yeah, look at this. This is super fast. This is like a one day delivery service. That's, look at this. That is a great scope right there. Can't wait until I open her up, but um, not now. I have to uh, put her back so I can pack away. Pack all these stuff away. I do have some loose. Look at this first order stormtroopers, snow troopers. Oh, look at all these. Everything is all being moved up right now. What size you want first? Yep, all the blue ones. Yep, everything is all loaded over here. Look how massive this truck is. Yeah, look at all everything. It's all packed up. Alright guys, so the moving company have finally packed up all of my belonging. It's up on the truck and the truck has been uh, gone. You see how long the truck was? That's how much my, uh, my personal belonging packed that truck. So apparently I have a lot of stuff. The uh, some of the moving guys um, saw the whole bunch of bookshelf and they're wondering where's the books at because they didn't see any books. I told them that uh, it's not books, it's all collectibles, it's all toys, you know. So it was a pretty interesting uh, moving day, but it's finally gone, you know. So where do we go from here? Probably next week I'm, I will uh, start mapping out my road trip to uh, from uh, California to South Carolina. And what I'm going to do is a series of uh, episode if you will um, of my trip from here to South Carolina now it's only take me a day if I try to drive straight from here to South Carolina a day and a half maybe uh, putting in some rest in between planning to do a little road trip zigzagging and hitting up some of the uh, comic book stores from here to uh, South Carolina just to see where I know I'm gonna hit between like two three states so hopefully we can find something good you know um, provide you guys some entertainment you never know, we might find some um, rare figs, you know. So, now that my uh, all my belongings is gone, I will um, have to slim down on my purchasing, you know. So, I have to control on some of the stuff I buy. So, uh, but it, it, it's okay. I'm planning to uh, rent out my house. I'm not selling it anymore. I'm planning to rent it out. So, after two, three years of my new job, I will come back to California so this is not the end I will I will return so before we start out this hunt today I just want to say Merry Christmas to everybody I hope you guys uh, get the present that you wanted and uh, spend a lot of time with your family all right so today I'm gonna to hit up this comic book store called the Sphinx uh, they got a lot of um, DC collectible stuff mostly DC stuff so I rarely go to this comic book stores but um it, it's it, it's it got a lot of comic books, so um, it's cool to see once in a while. Like I said, if you're a DC fan, you're in for a treat. So, but before we do that, I have some um, mail I just received. So let me show you. So the first mail I have is from Mr. Ben Smith. He is from Virginia, and 
He got me this. But what's inside is this vintage three and three quarter prototype bubble fit. Look at that. Steel unpunched. Steel on card. Very, very cool looking figure. Right there. All right. Mr. Ben Smith, thank you for the trade, buddy. Oh, the next uh, box I received is from Mr. Brad Stillwell. Um, he got me a he got me a couple of these uh, free comic books. Uh, these, this was not part of the trade, but um, he just added this in, in I guess. Um, and then he got this some of these uh, Force Awaken uh, picture stuff. That's pretty dope. So he traded me a, a um, Hot Topic uh, Krampus. This one. Now normally, I really don't uh, take these guys out of the box. I, I, I keep the, the, the box, uh, but it doesn't really matter. So um, he needed the fig that I have, so I, I traded with him for what, what he got. So it's not really that big a deal. So, But it's pretty cool that he added in, uh, a whole bunch of the, these stuff as well. He also added in, like a clear... Uh, uh, soft uh, protector box as well, but mainly what I wanted from uh, him was uh, this one He traded with me a uh, a flocked it Krampus hot topic exclusive chase There you go. Take a look at that guys That's pretty dope considering uh, Consider that this is uh, Christmas um, I already got the buddy elf, so this is uh, very fitting so buddy Thanks for the trade, man. Right. So let's go ahead and uh, head inside this uh, comic book store and see what's uh, what we have inside. I already talked to the manager. He's okay with me filming inside, but uh, as long as I uh, keep it down, um, they don't want to interrupt with um, all the people um, shopping for comics and stuff like that. So that's why you're going to hear music in the background vice me uh, talking. So let's go ahead and uh, head inside. Quite right, of course, Flash. I knew using these morons would put you off your guard. Hey! They're motivated by greed. They lack the commitment, the absolute focus. Look at that. That's, that's the Superman cyborg, man. But it's 110. That thing is sick. Look at that doomsday. Man. Yeah, these are some dope figs. So I'm over here at Target right now. 
I didn't pick up anything in the comic book store. It was uh, kind of overpriced. So hopefully, yeah, uh, get some luck over here at Target. Well, take a look at this. They got finally got the uh, Dino Ranger and the Zeo Ranger here at Target now. Oh, he needs a wrong pile, but. I would definitely have to pick this guy up. For sure. Uh, all right. Now would be a really good time. Give me the strength. Missing is the yellow Zeo Ranger. Yep. Check your target, guys. Yeah. The Zeo and Down Ranger just hit the target. They got some new uh, Ninja Turtle stuff on here. The legend of Great Dead. We got the transformer, and uh, we got these these new little car thing. Look pretty neat. Uh, same. I might have had the uh, dragon storm. I might pick that up, but uh, nope. Oh, yeah. Wait, the heck is this? What the heck is this? Oh wow. The seeker. You know what? Let me see how much this is. I might pick this up with that 25%. Alright, let's let's see how much this is. 75 dollars. Uh, hmm, seventy-five dollar minus twenty-five percent. Seemed like a good deal for three figs. All right, I might. Let's see. Oh, take a look at this. That's pretty cool. I just found this uh, laying back there in the electronics section, but. That's pretty neat. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This great creature. Suppose we uh, open this up and uh, I guess it's interactive. So, look at this. Yeah. Definitely had to pick this up. I wonder how much this costs. Alright, let's go see it. Find out. Like they uh, restock on the Stranger Things uh, little Funko uh, toys here. <gasps> oh wow, there's a chase. Uh, that's why we don't have the end cap anymore. Okay. <laughs> Usually when we go from a bunch to a little, just somehow the other ones didn't get counted when they got sold. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely pick this guy up. Hmm. Uh, okay, good thing I stopped by, huh? Alright, good hunt. They do have that little, uh, well, it's not little, it's big, a 10 inch Hulk. Look at that. And the hammer is on there too. And the box is nice. Alright. I think he goes for like $30. Yeah, I'm definitely picking this up. Wow. And the hammer is still on there. Two packs on sale. Look at that. I know uh, 
rocks. I was looking for this to do a custom, but I don't know if that's a good deal because it's retail 35 but 17 that's still a lot of money. That's a lot of them, so hopefully they'll go on even more of a discount maybe next week or so. They also have a couple of Warcraft ones as well. But yeah. Check your target for the clearance aisle, guys. They didn't have much for the uh, Marvel Legends. Um, the uh, Panther Wave won't be out until uh, next year, in, a, in about a week. So, see uh, see if we can uh, check out here. Oh, look at the, uh, take a look at the uh, checkout line. This is why it's horrible to go uh, Christmas shopping around close to Christmas Day. Take a look at this. Here at Ross, I heard that the uh, ATST, um, the Walmart exclusive three three quarter walker, is available. So uh, hopefully, uh, I can get some luck. Check this out, guys. They have GI Joe, the Zombie Viper, and Storm Shadow and Snake Eye. Ten dollars. That's not bad because I still don't have these two yet. It's been a while since you see actually G.I. Joe in the wild actually. G.I. Joe is the code name for America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose, to defend human freedom against Cobra, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. G.I. Joe! Very nice. I'll take both of these. Okay. Wow, check this out. This Imperial ATST Walker. This I thought this was a Walmart exclusive, I think. I might be wrong, but you can only find this at Walmart, but look at that, $22. Yeah, I'm definitely picking uh, one of these up. That's awesome. Wow. All right, guys. So that Ross in there did come through once again. Gotta love Ross. Um, the last thing I'm going to show you guys now is this. The 112 Mesco exclusive Wolverine, the Tiger Stripe. I got this in the mail um, earlier, and man, I'm excited for this. But if you guys watch a lot of YouTube, you already know a lot of people have been uh, getting this as well, so it's not that uh, that special. I heard um, a lot of people um, didn't really like the, this uh, figure, so let's go ahead and open this up. So he packaged like this, like all other Mesco with all this uh, plastic wrapping. He was available uh, to pre-order a while back for $80 and um, I I hop on it. He finally came and came in. Yeah. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. As you can see, he does come with this uh, X-Men uh, base here. Also with this uh, stand. And they also come with this bag for all the accessory. Because you definitely need it all these other accessory right here look at that that is a dope looking figure two right here two right here and then two claw hands right here then he had this mask now this mask right here was well, it's not meant for um, let's see it's not really mean you can't really put it on his face just something for decoration. He come with this two, two other head scope. This is the one I like on him. 
So yeah, definitely a dope looking figure. Now this is not a review or anything like that. I just want to show you guys uh, what the Mesco Wolverine Tiger Stripe Wolverine look like. But yeah, that's it right here. A lot of people um, say that they don't like him, but I like him. He's all right. Um, I like it. I think it's a yeah. I think it's a dope figure. I'm definitely continue uh, collecting Mezco. I will also add this guy to my 3K giveaway as well. So once I hit my 3K, um, some of the big I mentioned in my last video, uh, those would be up for the uh, giveaway along with this as well. So this would be one of the options. If you guys um, if you guys miss out on ordering the Wolverine, um, he will be in the option along with the uh, Doctor Strange uh, SH figure arts. Uh, Star Lords um, SH figure arts that Wrath S um, San Diego Comic Con exclusive uh, box set and um, a whole bunch of other stuff um, um, that wasn't given out. So yes, yeah, so thank you for joining me in this uh, another hunt. Come back next time for my journey um, going through uh, South Carolina. I just want to say Merry Christmas to everyone and uh, enjoy your holiday. All right. So before I leave, I'm just going to set up some of the um, showcase a little bit. Not my haul because um, my house is really empty right now. So I will show you guys some of the stuff that I picked up. Especially I will showcase the um, ATST because a lot of you guys picking that up wondering if if the legs are strong or not. So I'm just going to showcase uh, that out. So that's going to be my outro. Thank you once again and uh, Merry Christmas.